Disclaimer, I know you guys don't have to worry about sophomore living yet. This video is mostly just to show you guys like the type of decorations I put in my dorm because so many people came up to me and said that they watched my dorm tour video. It's really nice that so many of you guys have come up to tell me that you watched my videos. I've actually had so many people recognize me around campus, but I hope you guys really like the decorations in my room this year. So yeah, that's that. Hey guys, it's me Kayla and welcome back to this channel. I've had a lot of people come up to me saying that they watched my old videos, especially my room tour. Like I've had a lot of people. So I figured I would just show you my room in Bell Hall. Bell is on mid campus. It is once the lighting fixes itself. It is, no, it is right next to the student center. Last year I did a NCREH or North Campus Residence Hall tour, which is for freshmen. Bell Hall is actually the top two floors. I'm on the second floor, the top two are for sophomores. And then the bottom floor is for like upperclassmen. Like I said before, right beside Bell is the stoop, but right behind Bell you have admissions in like the health office. Basically Bell is split into pods. So you walk in the front door, and then you can either take the elevator or the stairs and then also there's like two pods on the bottom floor and then like the CD's office, the community director but then you can walk up the stairs to the second floor for example and the laundry room is actually on the second floor and you guys don't have to worry about living here anytime soon because you're just like prospect students but I figured I'd show you guys all types of living and then once you get up there there's like tables there's a big study room and then you can go on one side to one pod or on the other side to another and the one thing about Bell is if you don't live in another pod you can't scan in you can only scan yourself into your pod and once you walk into your pod you go through the door and then on one side there's like a common room with chairs and a TV and then on the other side there's like the kitchen area with like I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's a kitchen. And also on the third floor, there's like obviously two pods, but then there's also another door next to the stairs, which is classrooms. So, I mean, you could possibly have a class in Bell. I've talked to one girl who had like her reading and writing research class in Bell. Each pod also, I forgot to mention, has like its own study room. So when you walk down the hallway, there's like rooms, there's also single bathrooms, and you walk in down the middle of the hallway, there's a study room, and then once you walk down the end, there's emergency stairs, and then it goes off into a, like a T, but then it kind of like wraps around a little bit. I don't know how to explain it. I'll show you it. Anyway, I figured we would get on with this video because you guys want to see my room. As many people have said before, let's get on with it. So you walk in, and I had this mirror last year too. Kate bought it. It's pink. It's from Target. Um, then we also keep the vacuum here, which is also like we did last year. And then this is just what the room looks like. So right here, we just have command hooks. This is mine. This is Kate's where we hang up our masks and also the trash. We also have this rug right here and I also tracked in a leaf, so don't mind that. But this rug got caught underneath the door a couple times, so we kind of just moved it out here. Um, I had this last year too and I just keep my shower stuff on it. So my shower caddy, my bag to put my clothes in when I go take a shower. This side is my bed. The other side is Kate's bed, but I have the door side. I printed out these pictures. This light is from Amazon. It's a neon light. It was like $9. My pillows are all from Target. Um, I have this one, which is really nice. Then this one, which kind of feels weird, but I just have them leaning up against my actual pillow. The pillow itself is from Bed Bath & Beyond actually, but the sheets are from Target. And then I just have these two pink pillows which are from Target as well. Same as the bedding, it's the same as last year. I think this sheet is from Bed Bath & Beyond actually. I don't think I got it at Target, but I might be wrong. One thing that I really recommend buying for your bed is this. Um, kind of like it slides in and out of underneath your bed. I just put like my retainer in it and then like chapstick and everything but it's really nice to have because you can just reach over and grab it. You guys want to see underneath the bed now? We'll show underneath the bed. So one thing that is very popular at school is to loft your beds and I know a lot of people actually that didn't loft their beds but you lose out on so much like space if you don't and yeah they're kind of high up and yeah I do have to climb onto my desk and chair sometimes if I don't feel like jumping but I also have all of this space underneath here. So I'll go through what I have right now. This white drawer is from Target. On top of it, I just have a bowl of avocados and then an umbrella, the case for the tripod I'm using right now. In the first drawer, there's mac and cheese. In the second one, there's like, I don't know, granola, peanut butter, 
chocolate chips and then in the third one there's just plates and stuff and then right beside it i have this other shelf organizer where i just have like gum protein bars cliff bars i did have pumpkin bread in this white thing but now i just have donuts and cheerios i have pretzels cheese it's and goldfish and this is all from target beside it in the middle i just have binders and paper towels and more cheerios this is from target as well on top i just have k-cups from mary lou's my blender i have bagels toast utensils and then a ton of energy drinks i have celsius i have the grape and the wild berry and then i have like eight things of red bull peanut butter protein powder waters gatorades and then this three-tiered thing which just has like shampoo and like all those products as you can see this just has like masks in it and then this has medicine moving on to my closet now this is from target me and kate both have matching ones as you can see i'm gonna zoom in hopefully you can hear me i have this organizer from target which is supposed to be a shoe organizer but i put like belts and extra shirts in it um then up here i have these like white wire baskets that also have shirts in it and then down below i just have a shoe rack that holds all of my shoes and i have a laundry basket over here we have my desk which is right next to my bed and like i said before i sometimes use it to hop onto bed but i'll show you what's on it this fan is from Target, it's the same one as I had last year. I also had this plant, which is from Target, this mirror, and then I have this necklace from Park Sun hanging off of it. I also have this charger for my Apple Watch and my AirPods. I have this duck that's matching with my boyfriend, um, and this. This also just keeps me so organized. When I was in high school, it was, you know, very important also to keep yourself organized. But in my high school, at least, I had the same classes every single day, so it was like... I knew what homework I had to get done for the next day, but like in college you have like, I had like a week to do some of this homework, so I have to keep track of it, otherwise I will forget about it. So that's one thing that you have to make sure that you stay on top of when you're in school is staying organized. Then I also have this lamp, which is from Target with like chapstick in it, more chapstick, a broken necklace, and then on this side we have markers and on this side we have pens and pencils. In the top one. I just keep school supplies, my microphone, my license, which I've been driving without now that I think about it, my camera charger, all that type of stuff. And this one, we just keep like face lotion, perfume, whitening strips, a hairbrush, all that good stuff. This one's kind of like my junk drawer, so I'm not going to open that and show you. And then so is this one. It just kind of like holds my books and everything. One thing I figured I'd show you though, because last year in my vlogs, you probably saw that I was taking my food to go a lot because of COVID we had like to go containers and then towards the end of last semester we were able to start like actually eating with like real plates and everything you could choose between eating with real plates or taking your food to go. This year they developed a system though so you have this green carabiner. I haven't used mine yet so it's still in the bag. It says choose to reuse. So basically you go into the student center because they have no like plastic to go containers like we did last year. It's like basically you eat in the stew or you have this and then you give this to any of the food stations and they'll have green to go containers and then you can take your food to go and then when you go back to the stew later for more food you can re place it or like give it back and then get a plate or give it back get your like carabiner back and then get another one this is one of my favorite parts of the room the middle of it kind of like separating my side from like kate's side we have my fish creature which you guys all know if you watch my videos he's waiting for food i have a cure then these clips that i bought off of amazon i also have a black one on my lamp up here we have rip the ruby six kate kayla and creature because that was me and Kate's old room last year. We have Kate's initials, my initials. She painted these and bought them and then we had them above our beds. But we figured they looked better here this year. And then I have my like dresser. And then beside it, I have a heating pad and a drying rack. That's it for this video. I hope that this video is as beneficial to you guys as my other room tour was. So maybe I can go into a freshman dorm building at some point this year and just take a video of it for you guys. But I just figured I'd show you guys sophomore living at Curry. Me and Creature, we say bye and we will see you guys in another video.